hell is this? Why aren't you wearing the outfit that I bought you specifically for this event? What's wrong with this outfit? Uh, uh nothing. Nothing. Come on, Aiden, just say it. Well, it's just really not all that flattering. Not flattering? In what way? Are you saying I look fat? I do not look fat. Come on. Yeah. I just wanted to wear something different, you know? So I could, like, stand out. What'd you say? So I could stand out. Okay. You're supposed to be here to support me. Understand? Not for you to stand out. Okay. Robert Duran is here tonight, and it's most likely my one opportunity to impress him. And I plan on doing it. Actually, I was thinking if I could pitch my idea, too. Really? Your idea? Great. What, what, what idea is that? No. <laughs> are you talking about that, like, beauty thing? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you, you just don't get it. No, no, I don't really get it. Because up there is serious people with serious projects and serious ideas. Not a beauty solo, no. I've done my research. Believe me, there's like a huge demand for it, you know. Don't pitch this idea. I guess you were right about coming early. Yeah, I know about these things. Target detected. Don't, don't turn, don't turn. Just. Seems kind of busy, Aiden. Maybe we should grab a drink first? Clearly you're new to this. What is wrong with you? I'm literally just dehydrated, that's all. Pre, do you, look at me. Do you have any idea how important this is for me? This might be my one and only chance to pitch this idea. I know, I know. I'm here to support you, Aiden, but maybe we should just wait for John to walk around first, maybe? No offense, Bree, but when it comes to networking, it's not exactly a strong point. You don't know what you're doing. Because if you did, you wouldn't have worn this ridiculous outfit. I'm embarrassed. Fine, lead the way. Don't turn around, your loser friend just arrived. I don't see anyone, what loser friend? The one who's married that janitor, what's her name, Melanie? Do you hear yourself right now? You want to ditch Harvard for your janitor husband who's developing some stupid no-name app. Oh my god, you've really lost your mind. Melissa, you know we haven't spoken in like months. It's probably a good thing. Come. <clears throat> Hi. Sorry to uh, interrupt. Hello, I'm Aiden. Aiden Talbot. Mr. Duran, I'm a great fan of yours. Thank and you. I, uh, I think I have the most exciting idea, right? Uh, maybe, maybe in a bit. But uh, it'll only take just a minute, I promise. <laughs> maybe we can arrange uh, to have a little meeting. Just a second. It'll be very quick, okay? Here's my idea. I'm thinking of importing selected products from other countries at a reduced rate. Okay, I'm going to stop you right there because, uh, first of all, I'm, I'm not interested in investing in yet another logistics company. I apologize, Mr. Talbot, but uh, I, I'm kind of moving in a different direction right now. Different, Aiden. That's my pitch. Bree! No, the man just said that he's busy, and uh, let's respect him. You. It's okay. Uh, please forgive her. Come with me. That's so cool. Yeah, just finished my second semester, actually. Came back to the city to visit family and thought I'd swing by here to see if I could make some connections in the legal field, so. Do you think it's too wide? What, the legal field? No. <laughs> oh, that. Nope. You always look good, Brittany. Yeah, I just wish Aiden would like it, too. Aiden's a douchebag. What? He is. I saw what he did. What? When? The way he shot you down in front of that man? Come on. 
Oh, well, I shouldn't have spoken up. You know I'm here to support him, right? Okay, but does he support you? It's a two-way street, you know? Well, he always pays for everything, you know? Like that no, time no, no, my no. car... No, 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 no. No, does he support you? What do you mean? Does he care about your dreams and aspirations? I mean, look, I know you think my husband is just some lowly janitor, right? But the fact of the matter is he dropped everything for me to get to Harvard. I'm just asking, would Aiden do the same for you? Mel, about that, I'm really sorry. I don't think your husband's a loser, not anymore. It's fine. You were just looking out for me, I guess, in your own twisted way. Ouch. <laughs> guess I deserved that. Anyway, what's in the pink folder? Oh, it's dumb. I shouldn't have brought it. What do you mean? Come on, pitch it to me, like practice. Come on. I'm all ears. Okay. Do you know what Riverside is missing? A place for women like you and I to unwind. Like, can you imagine? The closest beauty salon is like 45 minutes away, so I thought, why not open what I like to call a beauty cafe? Uh, forgive me. I apologize, I, I overheard uh, a beauty cafe? Please tell me more. Brittany, brief for short. Robert, hi. Melissa. Nice to meet you. Uh, really, um, anything to do with women's wellness is, is really my new focus. And it's women like you who are the new pioneers of the future. Well, if you would like, we could go somewhere and I could tell you more about my plan. Great. For now, here it is in a nutshell. Oh. This is a great plan. I, uh, if I may say so myself, I actually oversaw the entire Oh my God, creative man, process. would you stop interrupting? Seriously, Aiden, can't you see Mr. Durand is busy? Thank you. This looks like fantastic work, by the way. Shall we? Yeah. No relationship is worth compromising your integrity for. You need to recognize your worth and know when to walk away. Share this video to inspire others to stand up for themselves. Mel, I just don't get what you see in him. Like, what is so urgent? Don't tell me a janitor's got work emergencies at 9 p.m. Like, what is he doing, emptying bins? God, if my boyfriend did this to me, I'd dump him.